Welcome. Today we are talking about tiddlywikis. Uh, before we do uh, talk about tiddlywikis, let's talk about uh, wikis in general. So most people have had exposure to wikis by uh, through Wikipedia. Uh, and notice if I do a search here for PRIS, the Power Rangers in space come up. So the great thing about wikis are, are that uh, it's a great way to organize information. Um, usually people organize information by, you know, different entries or articles. Another thing that's great about wikis is that uh, you can search for information. And the last thing that's really nice about wikis is that you can categorize um, your, your entries or your articles uh, by different uh, tags or categories. For example, this Power Rangers in Space uh, article belongs to the Power Rangers series category, superhero television programs category, Fox Network Kids shows uh, category, and Fox Kids category. If I click on Fox Kids category here, this will show me all of the shows uh, that belong, or all the entries in Wikipedia that belong to the Fox Kids category. So um, Wikipedia is is great, but it's it's like industry strength. If uh, if you want your own Wikipedia, if you want to want run your own Wikipedia, you have to download something called Wikimedia, and you have to know a little bit about um, structured qu uh, query language and PHP and a few other things. Luckily uh, for us, if, if you want to use uh, a, a personal wiki for yourself, there's a great thing out there called TiddlyWiki. And so to, uh, to download a TiddlyWiki, all you have to do is just go to www.tiddlywiki.com. And they've got this download button here, so let's go ahead and download one. Oh, you might get this at first. Let's go ahead and download. We'll just go save. And uh, click on desktop here, and we'll download it to the desktop. Now before we do anything um, with our uh, tiddlywiki file that we just downloaded, um, you first want to do two things. You want to create a folder for this tiddlywiki file to live in. So I'm going to call this tiddly folder. You can call it anything you want to. I'm going to move the uh, file in there and then I'm going to go into the folder. Now before you even open this up, you want to go to properties and you want to come down here to where it says security and you want to unblock and that way we will now be able to save to this uh, tiddlywiki file let's change the name to um, let's call it uh, I'm gonna call mine crow wiki now I can open up open this up and uh, let's see if Firefox is gonna give me problems not today, hopefully. Here we go. So notice when TiddlyWiki uh, first opens up um, inside your browser, it has a title and it's a subtitle. Then you've got uh, this entry called Getting Started. Over here, you've got your menu options. You can create a new entry. We call it a new tiddler. Um, you can create a new journal, which is just kind of like a journal entry. And you can save changes. The reason that we created a folder for this file to live in is because whenever you create, uh, oh, that's not the right one. Let me close this one. Here we go. Whenever you create uh, an entry and do save changes, uh, TiddlyWiki will, Tiddly will actually create a backup of itself from um, the point from where you, you you started. So you'll have a backup, and you uh, once you start saving changes every now and then, um, you start you can accumulate quite a number of files. Um, so it's always nice to have uh, have those files live in one um, folder instead of just all over your desktop. So um, let's go back in here and let's go ahead and change the uh, the name here for the the site title. So I'm going to click on the site title right here. I'm going to go to Edit and I'm going to change this to Crow Wiki. Click Done. And notice how it changes to Crow Wiki. I'm going to change the uh, site subtitle. And I'm going to change this to um, a quote from one of my favorite movies, Anchorman. I'm going to say, oh, milk was a horrible idea. Click done. And notice how this changes. Okay. You might also want to come in here and type your name into uh, this this place right here. That way, whenever you uh, create um, an entry, 
uh, your name will go down as you being the author. So now we've created a, we've uh, changed the default settings for the title and the site subtitle. We can go ahead and close these, close these entries. Um, so you can go close right here, or you can just come up here and say close others. I'm going to go ahead and close this entry for the sake of simplicity. Let's go to New Tiddler. Let's create a new entry. I am going to call this one My Favorite Movies. In here, I'm going to type, these are a few of my favorite movies. TiddlyWiki uses markup. Um, markup uh, basically is just another word for code. Uh, if I want to use a, if I want a bulletin point, I can just use an asterisk. So I'm going to type contact, fantastic movie, uh, asterisk, let's say good will hunting, another fantastic movie, Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, and how about something from this past summer, Up, fantastic movie. I'm going to add this wiki, uh, th I'm sorry, this entry to um, the category, a category, category I'm going to call, I'm going to create called personal. And I'm going to go uh, to done. So notice, here's my new entry. It's called My Favorite Movies. It was uh, created by me, Mr. Crow. And it was created today, September 19th, 2009. These are a few of my favorite movies. Contact, Good Will Hunting, Lord of the Rings, Matrix, and Up. And it belongs to the personal tag, otherwise uh, known as the personal category. If I want to create a new journal, or a new tiddler, I click on this. Let's say, uh, my favorite musical artists. And these are some of my favorite musical artists. And let's give a shout out to Coldplay. And uh, how about another band from uh, Great Britain I like called the Maccabees. Fantastic group from Seattle called the Cave Singers. Gotta love the Shins. And uh, who else? Oh, Led Zeppelin. Who doesn't like Led Zeppelin? And let's also add this to the personal category. Um, I'm also going to add it to a category I'm going to call Crow Stuff. Notice how if you have two words, you have to um, put them inside double brackets. I'm going to click on Done. I'm going to close this one. So here's my favorite musical artist. It's created today. Here's the information in there. It belongs to these tags. So notice, once I did that, I created these. Uh, these tags show up over here. And if I click on Personal, the two entries that I created show up right here and I can click on them to make them show up. So um, new journal is basically just the same thing as an entry except it just puts the date in there for you. Uh, today I created a Tiddly Wiki tutorial. Click on done and here we are we're finished. Um, to save my changes I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to click on remember this decision. I'm going to click on allow. So I can go close. Notice if I close my tiddlywiki here, um, I now have a backup in, uh, in this folder. And this backup uh, doesn't have any of the, uh, the changes that I made because it's a backup. That's the great thing about tiddlywiki, it'll back up your stuff for you. Eventually though, you might want to clean out this folder and get rid of the, uh, the backups. But that was an introduction to TiddlyWiki. I hope you uh, find it useful.